Copic markers are an alcohol ink based marker that have been around for a long time. But what is the difference between the sketch and the chow markers? The chow marker has a brush tip and a chisel tip, and the sketch marker also has a brush tip and a chisel tip. Basically, the only difference between the two markers is the chow marker is round and smaller, and the sketch marker is bigger. So the sketch marker holds more ink. The other difference is the price point because the sketch or the chow marker is smaller, it tends to be a little bit more expensive. It's a little bit more friendly for someone starting out and not too sure if they want to work with uh, Copic markers or not. Whereas the sketches are perfect if you love them and if you're going to work with them a lot, they hold a lot more ink so you don't have to refill them quite as often. When coloring with Copics, you just use two to three of the same color tone. Start with the light one, work to the dark, and then go back and blend your colors in. So I do the light color first, then I do my medium color, and then I go in with my darkest color, and then I go back with the medium and um, blend between the dark and the medium, and then I go back with my light and blend the whole thing. The nice thing with alcohol markers is because the alcohol base or the alcohol marker doesn't start to pill your paper. You can color that image for as long as you want and you can keep going back over it and touching it up. Whereas dye based markers, you start coloring for just a few seconds and that paper starts to lift up and pill because of the water base or the dye base to it. I love the fact that this doesn't happen with alcohol based markers so you can really perfect your blending.